to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Fires are raging, James. Ooh. A lot going on. Hollywood's burning. Hollywood's burning. Bleeding, uh, burning. You're going to bring up Post Malone. I keep getting, we I keep need, getting we help. We can still hit up talk about him. He's great. He's great. I just keep getting hit up by him of like, hey, man, is that going to be your 500th episode for Drinking Bros? No. No, it is not. We have someone awesome. We do. We so, have someone amazing, but. Do uh, not worry. Posty. I still, I still need my posty, you know? I got to get posty on. Got to get him on. Uh, no, but what I'm talking about. get him at a, at a different time in his life. We'll see. He's I really think so. Crazy busy, man. I know, but we made a real connection with him and I think he just needs he needs to be at a different place. Yeah. It's not us. No, 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 no. Look, people are busy. It's not us, Posty. It's, it's you. It's a lot with uh same thing with uh, Kanye and Joe Rogan. It's Kanye was supposed to go on Joe Rogan and uh that, that keeps getting pushed. Oh, did it not happen? No, it hasn't happened. I thought it did. I know. <laughs> It did not, and everybody asked him about it all the time. And I thought the and album finally on the, on a, one of his shows, he was just like, "Look, I'm just going to give you a Kanye update." And it was a live show, like a genuine live show, because they were watching a UFC fight live, um, kind of critiquing it. And uh, he was like, "Look, man, I'm just going to give you the Kanye update because I'm tired of hearing about it. Um, we've talked, we've chatted. It will happen eventually. I'm, I'm just not sure when." I could see Rogan going out to his cult farm. Maybe. Loving it. <clears throat> Maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm sure you could hunt out there. It'd be, you can bring back some elk. Definitely from Wyoming. Yeah. Uh, by, by the way, listen to the new album all the way through. I know the last show, I almost died. Um, <clears throat> yep. Still, like, I'm, I'm a little better. He's still here, yeah. A little better. Went in, uh, to the, the ER Friday night. Or what is it? Urgent care? Yeah, urgent care, whatever it is. Um, which is always weird on a Friday night where it's just like, hey, man. Were there uh, some, they were some actually, drunkards and some druggies in there? Yes, so much so that like they were, they were like, hey, there's five people ahead of you. And I was like, oh, shit. And it said like current wait time an hour and 44 minutes. Right. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I'd rather die than rather sit here for an hour and 44 minutes reading highlights magazines. You know what I'm saying? Um, because the phone was dead. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do here? Mm. And they were like, well, I would probably wait if I were you because some of these guys are, uh, they gave me the old, Wee-e-e-e-e. did they though? They did. Oh, okay. And they said, we don't think they're going to come out of their cars. And I was like, oh, because when I pulled up, they're there was cars, cars there. Yeah. They were in their fucking mm-hmm. cars, man. So I don't know what kind of junkies they were, whatever. And uh, she goes, I would just, g- I would give this five minutes. And so five minutes later, uh, a woman walked out to the cars and they all decided that they weren't coming in for whatever reason. Got it. Yes. I went in and uh, popped in. I'm actually proud of myself. You're watching the video show here. Um, Daddy's daddy's, uh, it's bulking season, dude, for daddy. Mm -hmm. I'd have a chest x-ray. They thought they thought it was really, really serious. And they were like, hey, you should probably get some chest x-rays done. We, we do think you might actually have pneumonia. And I was like, mm-hmm. fuck. I knew it, right? First x-ray, they were like, you're too big. They were like, chest is too big. We got to get you from a different angle. I was like, oh, my, oh my goodness. You, mm-hmm. just, you just took my breath away. <laughs> and that was a nice thing. Um, so I felt good about that. Mm-hmm. And but then, then- it, it, it turned out that it was like some deep bronchial... Fucking thing that was, yeah, but it was, it's in my chest and it's super close. Like it, you're teetering on the, hey man, if you don't start sleeping, you're definitely going to get pneumonia, that type of sitch. They put me on some intense steroids mm-hmm. that, that this is the first time I've ever gotten a medication that only lasts five days where they're like, this is it, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, all right, fuck. And they were like, just be prepared. Mm-hmm. You know, some things are going to happen to you. Right. Uh, you might feel a little boner on accident that you might not feel. And I was like, oh, really? So that was a nice thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got pumped full of that shit. But uh, 
Yeah. They're I'm, saying you might feel a boner at the urgent care. A- anywhere. Oh, okay. You know, starting the next, as soon as you start taking those pills, obviously. Mm-hmm. So, uh, sure enough, that is what happened. Okay. Uh, but yeah, pretty, it's, it's uh, cool. wild. Wild. Mm-hmm. They were like, hey, man, and you're going to feel some energy. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Got up the next day, coached, uh, coached my son's soccer team into the championship. Mm-hmm. And uh, listen to the new Kanye CD on the way over there. And I mean, I feel weird calling it a CD. I'm not sure where to call it. I streamed it. I feel weird saying that. It's an album. I streamed it. It's mm-hmm. a collection. I streamed it. I streamed the new album. The uh, Kanye collection. Is that, is that what it's called? I don't know. It's an album. It's a collection. You're not buying the CD or the yeah. record, so I don't know. I know I talked about this last show because I, I played uh, one song before I walked in and I almost almost died. And I was like, man, if that's the song I died to, then so be it. And I was happy about it. So, it, quick review, real quick. I, I said I would on the last show. Um, it's interesting. There's, uh, look, he made it like, half an hour, like half the album, four or five songs, bangers, bangers. We were just like, dude, that's amazing. It really is an all gospel album. Yeah. The only note I have on it, or I guess my disappointment was it is it, it it feels incomplete. I wish. They were fully, like, a lot of the songs, it was only 27 minutes. 11 songs, 27 minutes. A lot of the songs were two minutes. Half of them were, and the other half weren't. I just wish he would have spent more time. Or he said he's got another one coming out on Christmas Day. Mm-hmm. And maybe combine those albums and just put f- full finished songs like the other ones. So the ones that were fully done, amazing. Uh, the others that were, like, two minutes, it's hard to judge a song on that. And I just don't think he's got a, a non-yes man in his corner to say, hey, man, you need to push for a full, full, full album with this shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's there's two songs in particular. Uh, Use this gospel and that Salah song that were just complete. If you put those on in a club and no one knew it, it was gospel, people will, would go nuts. I mean, absolute nuts. I like those songs, but I didn't love the album. Yeah, again, it, it, it feels incomplete to and me. And even those songs, I think I'm willing them across the finish line uh, in that, to me, they weren't um, <clears throat> amazing. Mm. Uh, but I think I wanted it to be good so bad mm-hmm. that I'm giving him um, the extra leeway. I'm piggybacking him across the marathon. I, th- I thought I was, and then I, I found myself listening to them over the weekend and over and over again, and I was just like, all right, cool. Um, that happens with certain artists for me where I'm just like, eh, what, did I? Was I? Did I? And then if, if you find yourself humming it later in the shower and everything else, and then you end up playing it again, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm a fan. Uh, but that's, that's my honest review, where I, I, just, I felt like this one and the last album were incomplete. And I'm not really sure why or what's going on. I, I kind of dug into it before we did this show. And I, there was a few artists that just openly on Twitter were just like, hey, man, where's my track? One was Nicki Minaj. And one was Young Thug. And those are two of the biggest artists there is. And like they weren't on the record. He didn't use them. I don't know what the purpose was or whatever. So I'm not really sure. Uh, but I am sure of one thing because I watched uh, he did an interview with Big Boy. And he did an interview with uh, Zane, which we talked about in the last episode. The big boy one was a little bit more honest and open of why he did it. Mm-hmm. I, I genuinely believe him when he says that I'm not going to do anything else but gospel after this. Yeah. Um, uh, whether or not that's a business ploy or not, I, don't, I have no idea. That Christian market is big. Big, yeah. big, 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 big. And I looked at the streaming numbers because there was a lot of people who said they didn't like the album. Yeah. Streaming numbers were huge. Mm-hmm. So... Somebody's listening to it, man. It was number one on Spotify, so. Yeah. I'm curious as if he tapped into another base and that's what took over over there, but uh, yeah. Uh, and then in the meantime, yeah, fuck, we got up this morning and Hollywood's on fire. Yeah. Hollywood is on fire. This is over by the Getty and Sunset off of the 405. They yeah, they're calling shut the it entire, the uh, Getty fire. Yeah, they just shut the, down the entire 405. You know what's weird is the last time... I was there that there was a fire over by Getty mm. and I took actual video of it or maybe it was your brother 
Yeah, I think it was my brother. Yeah, it was your brother. And then I took the video afterward. That's what it was. He took the video of the, of the flames, and I took it afterward of the whole hill being burned down. Yeah. And I was like, here's what happened. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen with California anymore. This is getting real bad. Fire-wise or just? Yeah, I mean, they shut off another million homes over the weekend. Um, wine countries, half a wine country burned down or something mm-hmm. like that. What are you going to do with that state? I mean, if they don't get water <laughs> somehow, uh, whether they buy it, I don't know. Uh, That's the you... only other option because it's not naturally um, there anymore. It, it comes in from another state, right? Well, uh, when they're putting out the fires, yeah, I mean, I think they buy water, which is crazy. But crazy. as far as like the natural reservoirs and lakes and things, yeah, where most people there get their water, it's just not there anymore. Well, so there's just no water, and that uh, really causes a lot of problems in life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, d- digging a little further into it, they were saying that they didn't put enough money into because I guess it's some of the power lines that are causing these, like their own power lines that they're shutting down. That are causing some of these fires. Right. And they could have put them underground at one point. They didn't because mm-hmm. it was costlier. Mm-hmm. And now this is happening. Um, but the dryness is the real issue. So the power lines, things like this, uh, you know, Santa Ana, the brush, all of this, like if it wasn't so dry, it wouldn't go so far. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you start, you know, a fire will start from a po- power line. And if it wasn't so insanely dry and no water and no uh, way to stop it, then it just goes crazy. And goes up a whole hill and goes across the freeway and because it's just. Yeah. I, and look. I don't know what the last time anyone listening has been to California, but it's crazy shut down the if you shut down the 405 which i haven't i haven't seen the the 405 shut down since obama was there when i was there in Mm -hmm. town um he came in to do a fundraiser and they shut down the 405 it fucked the day was gone i mean basically everything was canceled or you know meetings and and otherwise and you're trying to use surface streets and good, good luck um but this issue just keeps happening year after year after year I, something something's got to happen here because it's the same areas that are burning down over and over and over again mm-hmm. so what do you what do you do at this point um they can't even do so, so out here we do controlled burns right because we have the water and the you know the resources to contain it out there they can't even do that because so it's so what you would do is you would burn down the whole hillside It'd be all flat and dirt. You're good. Yeah. Um, they can't even do that because they don't have the water God or the resources it, to keep it contained. So it, it, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, that's what everyone else does. Like we all do. You do controlled burns. Um, they just did one at the park by our house because there was just so much brush, dry brush. Mm-hmm. And if they didn't do it on purpose and contain it, it would have you know, gone up on its own somehow. So that's what most places do. You just can't do it in California. So I don't know. Yeah, man. Uh, it's wild. But we, we, I keep, people keep sending in messages about it. And it's like, I, look, I was there during the last one on this exact same route. And I know the museum was, was close to burning down and all the other shit. Mm-hmm. Like, this looks worse now. But I don't know if it's because we have better footage Mm. where it's just like everyone has a phone out or a story or a thing or a thing and you keep seeing these videos and you're like shit um how bad is it but uh california's fucked just fucked yeah and all their extra resources money-wise are going to treating homelessness and immigration all that other shit so like they don't even have any extra money to really get in to this you know Mm. So it's like, eh. yeah, because otherwise they could have water on hand instead of turning off power. They would have a shit ton of water on hand, too. I will say this. Los Angeles is the one place where probably three fourths of that city doesn't work. So mm. I don't know what they do. Right. Um, 
there's going to be a lot of fake meetings at Starbucks canceled today. Yeah. Over things that definitely aren't happening or never will. Right. There's going to be a lot of uh, hashtag grindfather um, not on the side of, of cups today out in, mm-hmm. in the streets of L.A. Yep. So, uh, but when you are there and there's that smoke over the city, oof, it is ugly. It's even it worse stinks. than it always is. Yeah, yeah, you have to shut your windows. I mean, you got to do everything there. Oh, yeah. you got to do everything there. Um, I want to talk about last night's 60 Minutes interview with uh, Yo Biden. Oh, yes. Yo. It was uncomfortable. Really no? uncomfortable. I, we talked about this maybe last week or the week before about him running out of money. And she brought it up. This I don't know who that woman is. She's one of the correspondents for uh, 60 Minutes. But I'm surprised because 60 yeah. Minutes is super is pretty left. And they went after him so the whole I time. Thought. There was not one positive element to that interview. Who did they want in there? Warren? I don't know. And that, that's, I guess that's what I'm trying to Bernie? figure out. Yeah. Or they know something that we don't know. Because, mm. I mean, it was a 15-minute interview when they went after him hard on every single thing. And to me... Do they know something about the Ukraine? Show? I don't know. Mm. To me, besides the, his son working in the Ukraine, which that's not a great answer for you if you're, if you're saying, look, it's my son. He's a grown man. I'm going to stay out of his business. You're right. working for a Ukraine gas company. For fifty to eighty grand a month for and five the fact plus that years. you even have to have that conversation, which she was trying to get to, which is like, well, why did you say that to him? Like, yeah. what, what does that mean? You know what I mean? Like, if you have to tell your son for anything, if you go, hey, dude, it's your life. Be careful. Don't you think they're probably going to do something dangerous, right? Or it, something that isn't completely on the level. If you're talking to your son, no matter what field he's in, right? Yeah. And you say, it's your life. You do what you want. Right. Not my business. That sounds, that's not something like every dad says to their son. No. Right? No. When they're going to do some kind of work or take a job, it's pretty probably, it's probably pretty rare that you say, hey, bud know what you're getting into <laughs> yeah I, I i think that that answer of you know he's a grown man we don't discuss it it's mm-hmm. like that's what i would say if my son was a drug dealer right or what if you knew do? in the mob yeah. or something where you just go hey if something if you want to wash your hands of something mm-hmm. or take your in like separate yourself from your son i think that's exactly what you say his business we don't talk about stuff like that yeah what father and son doesn't talk about stuff like that? It's crazy, man. And uh, then how he, you know, they said he was out of money. They said he had nine million left to campaign with, which is not very much. Warren had twenty six, and B- Bernie had somewhere in the 30s. 34, 34 which million. Which to me, I was like, and that's all campaign money. Yeah, that's not your money. Okay. Um, and that's you know, look, Bernie's always been good about raising money, but Biden, I'm surprised. Also, and then the he, other thing, they were like, why isn't Obama? Yeah, I was you? just gonna say. And he just said, we already, ta- we already talked about it. It's better that he doesn't. Yeah. He will well, when the time is right. answer is a little. It's like, hey, man. What do you mean Obama and you decided early on that he wasn't going to endorse you? Yeah, you were the vice president for him for eight years. What, who else is running that you could possibly endorse at this point? Mm-hmm. So it was strange. I mean, a, a full 15-minute interview going after him. And like, because to me, I think that's their best shot. And it just seemed like they just shot him down last night. It, what did I say after I just go, the media cannot get it right. No. It's like, who do you want yeah. in there then? You obviously don't want Trump, right? Yeah. You obviously skew everything that way. And now you don't want a Democrat in there. The one guy that may be able to do it. You just, you don't, you can't. You're not doing it right. Crazy, man. They can't get anything right. No. And, I, and this whole thing's uh to me, it's just a fuck all now. Trump was at the game last night at the World Series last night. Mm-hmm. And they were chanting lock him up when they cut to him in the crowd. And it was like, what, 12 hours earlier, he just killed the most wanted top of ISIS. And yeah. there were some people on the left who came out today, like Nate Silver and those guys who, are, look, I'm not a big fan of Nate Silver, but he was like, look, man, liberals can't give him one day. Just one day to be like, hey, man, congratulations on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, nope, not at all. 
Nope. Uh, I will say this. The best thing about that World Series game last night, uh, we posted a picture on this in Drinking Bro Sports. Two women behind home plate took, pulled up their tops at the same time and made it on national TV topless. Beautiful. And uh, we salute you. Good for we you salute guys. you and all you've been doing. Because the game, look, they're in, they're in Washington. <clears throat> right. It's the Nationals. Yeah. So they're in D.C., uh, so we salute you. Yeah, we Since salute you're in you. DC. Way to go. Way to go. Uh, one of them got a letter this morning, though, that just said, hey, you've been banned. From what? From, from the games. You know? Boo. They yeah. probably didn't care anyway. Ugh. Boo. Boy. But a double flash shot, that's at the same time, that takes practice. Some practice, coordination. Coordination, anticipation. Balls, guts. Uh, and you also have to know where the cameras are. Yeah. Because that's a, that's a thing. Well, I someone was hitting, right? Or somebody was at bat that <coughs> they knew it was going to be. But I guess you never know. You don't really know. That's the whole thing. Is like, because somebody caught me at a Cubs game when we were, we were at the Cubs game. Was it two or three years ago? Mm-hmm. We were right behind home plate. And it was like the, the eighth. The Cubs were uh, getting beat or whatever. And a bunch of people left. So it's just kind of me like slumped over like right. uh, texting somebody you just going to the bathroom mm-hmm. and somebody was like hey man great seats you're at the game or whatever i was like oh fuck i didn't even know the camera was on right me. the fact that these chicks knew and That's coordinated profesh. a That's double profesh. a double flash mm-hmm, 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 four mm-hmm. titties I mean, that was, that's pretty amazing four titties total yeah yeah that's the name of my band yeah four titties total yep yeah <laughs> It's the name of your uh, garage band you're getting into. Yeah, yeah, yeah four yeah, TT. Yeah. Four titties total. Four T squared. Uh, let's get to the sponsor, shall we? Get some sponsors to pay for this whole shit wagon to be on the air. By the way, if you subscribe on YouTube, which we highly recommend, we are moving over. We are, uh, we're shifting. We are coming in with the Drinking Bros channel. Um, Drinking Bros, we're, we're doing the media channel off of there all together. So we're going to be moving Ross Patterson Revolution over there. So please join us. All of our new episodes will be heading over there. All of our magic will be heading over there. We're trying to add a bunch of new shows and stuff. So uh, big things are coming. So subscribe to Drinking Bros Podcast on YouTube, and uh, you'll see the Ross Patterson Revolution, obviously. So welcome. Welcome. Uh, Same sponsors, too. First and foremost, talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Ghostbed.com is the most magical mattress in the land. Uh, here's what I love about them, James. What? 36 month pay as you go program. No interest, no worries. And you can fuck right off. <laughs> no? You can't. What? No, you can't. It comes out to about 38 bucks a month. Um, this company is fucking easy, man. I just love all their shit. Uh, I've, I've been going through. Some some things, just trying to call a lot of people over and over again. I just wish companies should just get it right like this, you know? Get right. a website, make it easy. Mm-hmm. Here's what you want. Here's what you need. Here's all your answers. Mm-hmm. Press click. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Love that about Ghostbed, dude. Right. They've got it dialed in. Everything's dialed in over there. Um, the Halloween deals that are going on right now. <laughs> Sleep so good, it's scary. I So I went to the website when we were on Drinking Bros the other day, and uh, I was just looking it up. So let's say you're a you're regular civilian like ourselves here. You're spinning a wheel. It's called the Spooky Offer. Ooh. Yeah. And you get up to $9.99 off a bundle on one of these fucking things. Uh, $200 of a mattress, free shipping. Like, I mean, bango, dude. They are doing it right over there. If you're military or first responder, you get an extra 15% off. Scroll over to the bottom of the page. Click it, take it, and rip it, dude. And fucking check out. Um, and that's forever. That's off of everything in the, in the whole damn store. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we've got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Shablinker. Pop them. Pop them in a white claw. I sent uh, our kid to school with a strike force water bottle. Today. Oh, today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's we, his we favorite. What am I going to fucking yeah, do? What are you going to do? <laughs> gonna do? Uh, they got a 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. Look at this, kids. When you get these, the, the boxes of this, it, it comes exactly like the ones at 7 Eleven. Because everybody's like, oh man, I see this at 7 Eleven. Boom, you get the same fucking box. That way it's not all slapped up all over the kitchen in a, in a Ziploc bag. You can keep that in the box and just pop the top open and get loose. 
orange, lemon, grape, a ridge. Uh, Revolution gives you 20% off, and they ship everywhere in the entire world. No carbs, no sugars. Pop that right in a white claw. You know, Jabes? Mm. Mm. Did you do that Ooh. yesterday at the Halloween party? I may, I may, may, I may or not have. may not have. I may, I may not have. <laughs> I feel like I saw you doing it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I need a little uh, Joyce yesterday. Um, I think I saw you at the child's birthday party. Yeah. I mean, Halloween party. Halloween Putting party. that in the corner, mm-hmm. popping that packet right in the white cloth. Yeah. But it really <clears throat> works. I know. You get through that and, nonsense. And that white cloth needs a little spice to it, needs a little more flavor to it. Um, it just does, man. Mm-hmm. It does. Uh, last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut, smooth. Oh, you rock it! There it is, James. There it is. Mm. That's what they came for. Mm. Mm. Uh, everything mm. you need to be mm. a real mm. man in mm. this life. Mm. Again, I cannot grow that stash, I don't think, until this, uh, that symposium's over. Symposium? Eh. As some people are calling it that. What is it? I have to go speak at that college. Oh, that's right. When so is that? It's the 14th of okay. November. Okay. Yeah. So I got to go talk to some peeps and uh, share and my wisdom and knowledge with the world. you don't think a mustache will give you that extra I don't level of professionalism? I that it's appropriate. Okay. I don't know that it's appropriate. Okay. So I mean, I... I just... I beat a D, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You beat I be- a D? I beg to differ. You oh, know you, know oh I mean? you beat a D. Yeah, yeah, yeah I you beat a D, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that may not be a thing. No. As soon as I said it, kind of didn't sound right. Yeah. But. It sounded like you were beating a dick. Or something. I beat a D, yeah. Mm-hmm. Beat um, a D. <laughs> I was just like, oh, you beat a dick. Okay. I'm um, not sure that they have that uh, kind of product there, but I guess you could put a little uh, cologne on your hands and be, be a D. Ooh, ouch. It would stink a little that bit. Would, well, it would sting, wouldn't it? I don't think so. No, okay. Um, if it was aftershave, yes. Oh, then yeah. I would a little after not use aftershave. A little aftershave hand job for you? Yeah, you can put a little nice. shampoo on there, but if that gets in the hole, whew, that's going to be brutal. Maybe the condish. Maybe the conditioner might, might there be There you go. Thing. There you go. You use what you got in this world, kids. You know, if you're out of lube, you use what you got. Sure. That's what my grandfather always told me before he passed away. Poon hound. You know what he died of? Using what he had. So. Right. Words of advice. Words <laughs> of advice. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. to straightrazors.com. Yeah. Promo code revolution, 20% off. It's We're heading to the holidays. Get your father a kid. Quit being a fucking dickhead. You know who you are out there. Tom. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy Brian. Greg. Greg. Steven. A- Alexander. Greg, you know who you are. Newton. Dude. Uh, Frank. Oh. Oh, Frank. Frank, you know what you're doing out there, Garrett. Frank. George. God damn it, George. That is so like you, George. Yeah, fuck. Get your dad a Coop. kid. Uh, cool. You know Coop, right? Coop down. Coop. Coop dog. Cooper, dude. Mm. You are in trouble. Yeah. Get that kit, Cooper. Um, <laughs> man, fighting through it today. Yeah. Fighting through uh, today. This is supposed to clear up by... Uh, Thursday night, they said. Oh, thank God. So we'll see. Ah, we'll see. Right. We'll see. You right. Uh, then it'll be a whole nother set of issues, huh? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Life, right? Dawn gets gangrene, you know? Right, right, Yo. right. You got to lop it off. D gets the G, you know? Mm-hmm. Dawn gets gangrene out mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've been getting into that Hot Ones show a lot. I... <sighs> Do you ever watch shows, TV shows, miniseries, whatever, that it, it's hard to watch because you want to be in it so bad or something? Like, have you ever, is there a movie or a show that you're like, God, I yes. fucking wanted that yes. part? Or yes. like, how, why am I not doing this? Righteous Gemstones for me recently. Yeah, my gosh, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Um, it happens a lot. It's usually dramas with me where I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> want to do this looks so fun right yeah um so the hot ones as much as i love it i just get pissed every time because it's such a great concept it's so simple 
it's executed so well, right? Just celebrities eating hot wings. That's it. And then, and then their mouths rage on fire and they're in. So we had a discussion about this. I think you could do it. I think I could do it <laughs> too, do it. but it's like, what level do I need to be at in order to get me on the show? Do you know what I'm saying? So then there's that where I'm like, see these other girls doing it. And I'm like, fuck you guys. I could fucking rule it. This shit. The podcast has got to be big enough. Cause like, look, Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura are on there. Yeah, that's true. Theo Vaughn's been on there. If the podcast gets big enough, you'll be able to do it. Yeah. And they need more women to do it. I think so. Yeah. So I, I, I think you could do it. Me personally, man, I do not eat hot food. Right. Very often. Right. We had a um, phantom ghost pepper sneak into a sushi dinner one night. And I thought. And you were a little baby doll. A friend of mine was a waitress I thought there. I was going to die. You thought you were going to die. Yep. You couldn't focus. We couldn't. It was like our one night out after the kid. Yeah. And I was like ready to party. You had your jalapeno poppers, jalapeno popper sushi roll. Jalapeno, not ghost pepper. Yes. But some seeds sometimes find their way. Jalapeno seeds. Okay. And you could not focus. You couldn't finish the dinner. I had to go ask the girl for a glass of milk. A glass of milk, yeah. For baby doll. Yeah. I think I called you baby doll. You did call me baby doll. I said little baby doll needs a fucking yep. glass of milk. You did. Yeah. Right? I mean, I. It took me downtown and. Uh, we were downtown too. My and it took you even further downtown. Felt like it was on fire. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, that one little incident that I had. Leads me to believe that, yeah, I I can't because we know which sauce that that people get to on that show, da bomb, da bomb. They have a complete meltdown over Mm -hmm. it, and for me personally, if I couldn't, if a if a little seed from a ghost pepper popped into my mouth at Mm -hmm. at at a sushi restaurant, I I would this would probably cause me to shit my pants. I don't know about shit your pants, but I don't think you could. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What would yeah, you like you, not be able to breathe? Pants. Oh, okay. I, I think because most is that what most of them are like freaking out about that they're like stomach. They uh, yeah, feel, feel like, like they're gonna, gonna poop. Shit your pants, yeah, because mm. it just not it, it clears out everything. Like, I think that's a lot of like. So they just start sweating. Yeah, and like looking like this. So that may be the thing of like, please don't, please don't shit your pants. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's a real thing. And like I remember, because I, I was trying to think, like eating contests and all this stuff. We were trying to dig back in the vault, right? Of have mm-hmm. we ever done it? I forget who we were chatting with it about, but I was like, yes, <clears throat> I've I've gotten in. I've been involved in one eating contest, and then somebody I was dating got involved in another one, mm-hmm. and I can tell you the results of both. Okay, so the first one I was in high school. Uh, Chattahoochee Cougars, you're raising money for the football team. And uh, it was a wing-a-thon. Okay. So you did it for charity, dollar a wing. Mm-hmm. Everything you... Uh, Eat goes to the charity. To the charity, okay. right? Okay, I so like people, it. Yeah, so people bet on you and, and the, the... I don't know if they would let you do this in today's world, to be honest with you, which just fucking sucks. Because they'd be worried about kids getting sick or something. Oh, probably. okay. Yeah, everybody's such a fucking strider yeah, exactly, now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's... I, I don't know if you could... If, if you'd let them do it. But anyways, so we... All of us didn't eat all day. And then we went to football practice. So you're... You know, that was two or three hours or whatever, right? So you're starving. Papa over there. Seven o'clock. Over to... I think it was... It was BW3s back in the day. Whatever it was, right? Mm-hmm. I popped down 76 wings. So, it's, it's, yes, either 73 or 76. I think it was 76. Okay. And the, So you can't use the bathroom. You can't throw up. Uh-huh. And like you can't use the bathroom. So okay. If okay. so, you're out. And okay. that's kind of the okay. end of the thing. Uh, the guy who won, Tyler Anderson, his buddy of mine, he put down 125. Um, and then I drove him home afterwards. And he fucking asked me to drive him through McDonald's. And he, he still got a, a double quarter pounder with cheese meal. Tyler, hero. He went on to become, he had a full scholarship for wrestling to Iowa. So it's not like he was a fat dude. He was not at all. He was just a big he dude. He was an athlete. Yes. He was a true he was athlete. A fucking athlete. Yeah. Every time I went over to his house, he was, 
he was the family that there was like, hey, well, hey, yeah, yeah, we want to come over for dinner. And there was 40 steaks on the grill. And you're like, dude, is there, are we is throwing there a party? People? And he goes, no. Oh, you told me about this guy. Yeah, No, yeah. it's just that's his yeah, protein. Yeah, and that's yeah. what he was doing to stay in shape for this thing and blah, blah, blah. And like, it all worked. Right. Free ride to one of the best schools in the nation and uh, wrestled for them. Fantastic, right? Me personally, after I dropped him off, I went home, puked a little bit, and then uh, pooped my pants, essentially. So, In your pants? or Not in my pants, but in the, where I was just like, oh my God, this is crazy. 76 wings. Like, how do you do this? You know? Yeah. You feel terrible. So bad that I, I had to go in like midday the next day where I was just like, I can't. The next morning was a mess, obviously. Oh, um, sure. <clears throat> everything about it cleaning up the poop and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. You, you you worry what's gonna happen right with that mm-hmm. uh now the other one <laughs> there was this thing down at uh hermosa pier mm-hmm. um hermosa pier had this shitty pizza place on the pier right i don't know if you remember it it had a it was in a tray so if if you finish the entire tray, mm-hmm. it was like a silver tray that would engrave your name and put it up on the wall. Okay, I do not remember this. Just place. the dough alone in the tray was 5.7 pounds, I think they said. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you had the rest of that whole thing. And there was trays like hung up on the restaurant and there was like 30, right? Sure. S- somebody who I was dating in the early 2000s was just like, hey, I can, I can fucking do this. And it was a tiny person. Okay. And I was like, there's... There's no fucking way. Right. And it was like, it was a pure, it was pure Kobayashi shit where you're just mm-hmm. like, she fucking did it. Wow. Um, got, got the trick. Well, here's the thing. And it was the same rules there too. You can't, you couldn't use the restroom. No, no. So as soon as you do it and then you got the pizza for free, right? It, it, as soon as the, the competition was over, mm-hmm. it was a goddamn mess in there. In the bar or? Both ends. Yes. She couldn't make it out of the bar. Both ends. Fun. sink and toilets oh cool but that's what happens when you're right that's that's an eating competition mm-hmm. right um and you I, there, there is something that triggers it off right mm-hmm. so with a hot one show i think that de bomb would cause me just based on everybody else's reactions right to shit my pants on impact possibly and then what do you do there with the rest of the show do you finish it off it looked like gordon ramsay was pooping a little bit well, he went to the bathroom at one point. Remember? He did. And he was like, I need to piss. Because remember, he was like, there's a lot of people that are like, hey, man, it feels like a burning he ring down my asshole. Yeah. He downed a whole thing of Pepto-Bismol, yes. it looked like. Yep. Still wasn't working. And then he was like coughing, but yes. it looked like something happened when yep. he was coughing. Yeah. And then he went to the bathroom. So um, my instinct, yeah, I definitely thought he went to take a shit. That, that, that's what happened. That's what happened. And so I think for me personally, I would be Oof, out, but I think you'd be, be able to, I think you'd be able to do it. I think I would, but that de bomb though, if it's just, and everyone <laughs> says it's pure hotness with no flavor. Mm-hmm. And so you're just like, cause there is an extract that you can put in hot sauce that makes it just like fire. It's no flavor, but it will just heat up your entire, I mean, it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other sauces, I think, use real ghost peppers and different peppers. And I think the de bomb must be just the straight extract because everyone's just like, <gasps> yeah, you know, yeah, no flavor. Yep. No one can handle it. No one. So am I going to say that I can? I don't know. Well, the other the, the host can handle it, apparently. So I guess if you practice. Yeah. So I would need to buy the de, de bomb. Yeah. Practice and I could do it. Yes, you would. I, I, I imagine they would sell it. The show is massive. I, I looked it up so much so online last night. I looked it up to see if you can buy their hot sauce and they limit it to like two bottles because there's such a demand that they can't fulfill them, they said. That's awesome. Isn't that crazy? That show is massive now. I like the guy. I, th- I like their whole thing. I'm happy for them. Yeah. Right? I, I, I am too. Yeah. It's, again... I, I get jealous yes. when such an easy concept is executed to a massive level where you're like, fuck, why didn't I do anything about this? I know. And then I was thinking, I'm like, okay, what can we do? Shots? 
But then nobody wants to see that. You know no. what I mean? Because you're throwing up. I, cause that's yeah, the, for drinking and you're bros. just like, nobody wants to see like people getting drunk. It's sort of like, yeah, I've yeah, been there. Because uh, so we've I'm had just some wild episodes of drinking bros, right? Where right. things have gotten taken to the next level. Um, last, last year's Army Navy game, a uh, guy uh, stuffed an entire jello shot, two jello shots up his asshole. Mm-hmm. And, but his, he had his buddy do it. And his buddy had rubber gloves on. Right. And so they did it live at the tailgate. Mm-hmm. There were certain people who were disgusted by that, obviously. Um, I, th- I thought it was very amusing. And uh-huh. I enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it very much. It was so. funny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, I think that's funny, but it's not the same, no, right? it's not. And you can't repeat that over and over you again. You can't repeat that over, and there's not. It's just such a formula to <clears throat> it. And yes. I'm just trying to think, like, what is. Everybody is right now, by the way. I'm sure. Everyone I'm is. I'm sure. Um, cause I was thinking about that, you know, like we're trying to find like, you know, girl podcast type of thing. Right. And I'm like, nobody wants to see fucking drunken girls talk shit. So it's like, no, that's out. You know? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but I've been thinking about it ever since. And I don't know if there's any other thing because you know, the hotness does sort of make you it messes with your brain a little bit too. So yeah. that level of like ghost pepper and there's a level of pepper that will like, you'll hallucinate. So there's also that kind of thing with it too. Um, I felt like that on the last or, show where I was hallucinating. Well, you were hopped up on a, lot on of, a bunch of meds. On but, a lot of uh, stuff. It was a loop-de-loop uh, show for oh sure. Yeah. We oh call yeah. it loop-de-loop show. Yeah. <laughs> I like those only because you will just talk about whatever you personally and you'll just be like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Like, yeah. I like that. Well, personally, we got, we got deep into it. <laughs> I don't it. think we got on any topics. I think we just talk shit. And I like that. But yeah. anyway, I, I, um, that was loop de loop show. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is there, we've done the coding. <laughs> we've done the coding we one. We've done the coding. And Can that you one do was, shots in NyQuil? Can that you? one was fun, right? Because I was like, I don't remember it. And we did start it at the exact thing. Like once we press record, yeah, is when we took the first sip. Ah, sour. Uh, Jamie just popped oh. in. It's a sour challenge. Does that do the same? Because it has to do something to your brain chemistry, right? Sour could be. You know, I don't be know. Two on the nose, I think. No, that I would win hands down. Definitely. I can. And so you would have to be the host <laughs> of that one because you could fucking. I could eat sour shit all day. Totally. Anything does that mess with your stomach? Maybe a little bit. Uh, no, it's not. It's not. Can't bad. be any more than fucking ghost pepper. Yeah, I mean it's sugar, but that's about it. But because uh, right now, sour. as soon as that was, as soon as Jamie brought that in with the sour thing, the most sour thing I ever had was uh, these warheads. The yeah, warhead candies. Yeah, because I remember it's the same thing. It's not quite a flavor. It's just straight up sour. Sourness. Yeah. yeah, pucker. But I don't, I don't know that it will affect you for the long haul. Right. It, like I was saying, it doesn't affect you brain-wise. So is it like, do you take one of the mushroom <laughs> chocolates at the beginning of the show Oof. and let it like slowly? <laughs> yeah. Because the thing is the progression, right? Sure. So you start off, they always start off, you know, answering questions so eloquently and blah, blah, blah. And they yeah. all have all their talking points. And the great part about it is that it really breaks all that down, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just like they throw everything out the window. They're cursing. They're just like, "What?" But um, I think with that level of celebrity too, you need something in there to break up those quest, you know, answers that the that you've worked on with the publicist. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and everybody breaks, by the way. They always get out. Everyone. Of it. No one can continue. The Jonas Brothers did a little bit, but I have to say they didn't fucking eat any. They licked them. That's the thing is like, hey. And they kept their talking points. They are, they are a uh, publicity machine, and they did, they did not Who break. Who gave up last night? Ricky Gervais gave up. Gave up. I wouldn't give up. After, no. I would do it. You've made it to De Bomb. Yeah, I'd be miserable, but I, I definitely wouldn't give up. Um, but yeah. I think he gave up. It was an earlier episode, so it hasn't. It hadn't gotten to the level that it is now. Right. I think if anyone goes on now, I don't think they would. Um. 
give up, don't you think? Yeah. Because you see that, like, they, you go in the wall of shame. It's this whole <laughs> thing, right? You're the guy that gave up on hot ones. Yeah. Um, so I don't think at this point the level that they're at now is, is different to where I, I think a lot of people know. And you can now, just look at the now, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the views and yeah. be like, okay, it's crazy. I better get my shit together. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Uh, by the way, we get some breaking news here. These the these girls have been their names have been released. Oh, uh, the two topless girls from mm-hmm. the game last night. Um, this was definitely a coordinated attack. Uh, they're Instagram models, mm. Julia Rose and Lauren Summer. One has 2.8 million followers. Mm. The other one has 1.5 million followers. Um, wow, the whole thing. Yeah, they're, they're permanently banned from MLB events. From MLB events at <laughs> all? League Baseball. <laughs> I wonder if they anticipated that. And it, wait, here, so here's sure the letter that care. Major League Baseball sent them. On October 27th, 2019, you attended a World Series Game 5 at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. During the game, you violated the fan code of conduct by exposing yourself during the seventh inning. That was a seventh inning stretch. um, In order to promote your business, you are hereby banned from all Major League Baseball stadiums and facilities indefinitely. Um, Eesh. Wow. Again, I bet you they don't care. No, no, they don't care. (laughs) Willing to bet they don't give a shit. Wait, it goes on to say you were also part of a scheme in which you induced others to expose themselves to promote the business. Uh, TMZ just caught up on this and why'd you do it? Um, The one girl says it was a motivation was a mix between promoting their publication Shag Mag Mm. and raising awareness for breast cancer. No, I mean, there we go. I like that they didn't lead with that, though. There we go. I like that it was first and then us, then then the breast cancer, the breast thing. cancer ladies. Yeah. yeah. Um, I and look. Guys, I think. Sorry. Yeah. I think what they're doing for breast cancer awareness is pretty. If they had just said that, I would have been like, "Fuck yeah." Yeah. Right. Yeah. I. Because they got they got a great. couple uh they got a a couple um enhanced <laughs> enhanced um. <laughs> Memories, yeah. So they. Uh, I don't know. I didn't really look at the picture, Jesse. I just kind of breezed by it, you know, during the game. I didn't pause it or take a picture of it or anything, or put it on Drinking Bros Instagram. Um, somebody else did that, probably. Um, hashtag God's plan. It was super weird to see it during the the World Series. You know, that's a massive event where you're like, ah, you can't right. really get away. The president's there. Can you really get away with? Yep. <laughs> there they go. There they go. I like it. Ah, for breast cancer, you know. Who cares? I like it. If I pulled my dong out and said it was for uh, testicular cancer, like my whole my whole brethren. Why don't you? If I pulled out my brethren during a game, and just or what I did was I just laid it in a bun. You know. Oh yeah. Like a dog, and just been like, "Mm," and then just you know, casually put mustard on it in the background and and relish. Mm -hmm. You'd have to. I mean, that would be (coughs) finding the camera for something like that. Would be I, rough. I told you I did it at the LSU game, right? Did what? Last year at the LSU Alabama game. Did what? Um, I found the camera mm-hmm. and I was trying, I was attempting to smoke a jewel on camera. Okay. Did I tell you the story? No. We didn't tell you the story on the show? Mm-hmm. Really good, actually. So at SEC games, they always find the hottest women and they will repeatedly cut to them over and over and over again. Um, and that's their thing. They'll, they'll use different angles. They'll use a jib. And you're like, that's, it's the same group mm-hmm. of girls, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we happen to be sitting behind said group of, of girls, right? Mm-hmm. And they're all, they're all like posing, getting ready or whatever. So I, was, I put this jewel in my mouth because I'm behind them. And, uh, and each time the camera would whip, would whip pan over, I would go... <laughs> And with the thing hanging out of my mouth and uh-huh. then just take a huge and we were all taking turns with it. Me, Dan, and uh, a couple other gentlemen. Right. Well, I won't say who they were in case they don't want their names out there for okay. smoking. Uh Mayor Queens in a okay. stadium. Finally the camera guy was just so pissed off after like the fifth time, he just looks at me and he goes, <laughs> 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 and I go, I go and, 
we're like five rows up, mm. right? Right behind the 50 or whatever. And I go, hey, bro. I, I just screamed out. Hey, bro. There's like 90,000 people in this stadium. You can find some other hot girls, you know? Mm-hmm. It, 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 I mean, complete and utter laughter. And like he tried to sneak back around in the fourth quarter to get one more shot. I was, I was waiting for it. Right. Didn't get on TV once. Mm. And uh, I was, when I was at the game, I recorded the game from my phone. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Mm. Mm. Nothing. It's hard. It's harder than you think. So I'm, imp- sure. I'm impressed by this. I'm impressed by well, this. Where their seats were, right behind home plate, I mean, that's. It that's is, but you still, have to, you, you still have to get to an angle of. Like the pitcher's got to step off the mound to the right a little bit. Like they weren't directly behind home mm. plate. So it's still a, it's still a hard, hard toss. Like I don't, I don't know how they did it. Right. I would love to get them on the show and, and figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's, uh, the football games, you know where the camera is. It's, it's right there. Whereas MLB, they don't, it's not a guy right behind home plate who's just standing there, right? So it's, it's coming in from uh, center field. So you're fucking 400, 400 feet away. So you kind of don't really know what your angle is there. Mm-hmm. Um, and they weren't directly behind the plate. They were just kind of off to the left of it. So eh, they, they pulled it off. I'm pissed that I didn't. But yeah, football's a little more difficult. Uh, you got a crime corner today, Jabes? I don't, but yeah. you do. Oh, <laughs> we're doing one of mine today? Oh, Ross is going to do the crime corner. Why not? Why not? Let's get fucking hot with it, shall we? Uh, Ross is on the Facebook, which I'm going to get back on, you guys. No, you're you. not. I will. No, you're. Are you really? Yeah, I'll get back on to. Uh, I guess there's a bunch of crime corners in there. I am sorry. There is. <coughs> you know, I've talked about the dumpster fire that is Facebook, but I will do it for you. So you don't. You don't ever people. use Facebook at all. I don't. I'm trying. I'm. I'm very close to deleting my Facebook account, but I will not do it All because together. this is what the people use. You, you're saying what what goes on in your Facebook that you you're, you're deleting it? Um, I had gotten to a algorithm that the videos and the shit that was just like popping up. It was like never friends or anything. It was uh-huh. just these crazy. What is it? Russian bots? I don't know. It was just like just shit after shit video. Really? Yeah, and it just like it felt. I stopped using it mm-hmm. um, after the thing of the that they popped them. Right? They popped them. They popped. They were to inter, you know uh, investigating Zuckerberg and this media this media company they were using. What was the oh, thing yeah, that yeah, was yeah, like yeah. Chamberlain? What was it? Yeah, something. Yeah. Cambridge Analytics. Cambridge Analytics. Um, not that I care about my information getting out there at all. I just think for whatever reason, who I am, age, demographic, things that I had like popped on before, it just turned into, for me, a dumpster fire every time I went there. And it just felt like horrible and weird. And it was almost just walking into the mind of some crazy liberal that's just screaming all the time. Well. I, I will say this. Most of your friends are from California. I yeah. Imagine, and right? so, so, like I said, for whatever reason, I don't know why that would be. I have never gone sure. that way. Or, yeah. I, you know, it's even like I think Republican on my thing. I don't know. But basically, I was just I felt like I said, every time I stepped onto Facebook, I was stepping into the mind of a crazy protester woman with her sh- head shaved. Yeah. Just screaming. I had to block a family member the other day. Yeah. See, like, why? Politics. I kept getting tagged in these fucking. You weird know, posts. and I just feel and it was like very like uh, pointed, very much here. Look at this. Yeah. Let no, me show you. No real explanation. Right. I, I was just just, getting tagged in it. Finally, I replied. I said, "What the fuck are you tagging me in this?" Right. What'd they say? Nothing. Ma. And then I didn't see anything for like two weeks, and then I got tagged in another thing. Sure. And I go. I was like, "It's cool, man. This is why you're blocked." Um, but see you later. So if you know, you can fucking call me if you want. Right. And called me in years. I just find with Instagram, I'll get some <clears throat> sponsored, like they're trying to sell me glasses. I like Felix Gray, but keep trying if you want. Sure. Um, Is the most and maybe like a freaking Old Navy ad. But other than that, it's pretty much like people's good times and pictures of them having fun. Right? Yeah. So I apologize if I haven't been on Facebook, but I just wonder, are we still all going to keep using it 
Yes. Okay. Because it is the only way to get... I thought there was a get... second there that I... Didn't you think that it was going to go down in flames for a second? Uh, yes. When he was but, getting but... investigated, the Cambridge thing, the whole thing, the Russian bots, the all of this, I thought, okay, we're all going to be done with it, right? I don't think you can stop him. And I don't yeah. think they will. They will. Everybody says they will. I don't think you, you can or will. And, in, and until there's another site open where you're able to write thoughts and feelings and share them with all your people and all that stuff... I don't see an end to it. I see people using it less, but I don't see an end to it. Their mm-hmm. stock has not been hurt by any of this right. whatsoever. But so, they own Instagram too, right? So it's kind of like how does how do you gauge? And a lot of people Facebook's. are like, "Oh man, I'm I'm using other apps. I'm using TikTok, and it's like it's like child shit." No, no. I mean, I definitely don't have time for like another thing. But um, I'll get on there. Maybe just Ross Patterson Revolution. I'll start getting on there. Yeah, I, I look because the inbox. Because I have is to filled. say, I've just. Just my own. I don't know. Sure. And I think there's a lot of people that don't like Facebook, to be completely honest with you. No. If, look, if we didn't have businesses and shit, I wouldn't use Facebook. I would still use Instagram, though. Wouldn't uh, you? I like drinking bro shit. That's all I really like. Like, I, I try to stay in, like, subgroups and things like that. Yeah. I don't really post. I, like, you know, I'll post on my fan page and shit like that. But right. That's about it. Uh, so in this crime corner, do you do it then and I switch it? What? Oh, oh so I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> crime corner, crime corner. Crime corner. Nice. Perfect. 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 Wow. Um, this one is coming coming to us from uh, Detective Heath Barnes. Ooh, Heath. 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 Um, man, this is a good one because it's uh, this one hits close to home because it's uh, well, it's it's. Uh, it's goddamn near next to my home. Oh, okay. Um, in ge- here, Georgia. It, it, it was in Georgia. Oh, okay. It was in Georgia, and uh, what's the headline? Give us the headline first. Um, well, just the sound bite. You know what? I had the wrong detective. Joe Harris. Oh, Joe Harris. Wow, but Heath. Apologize. Heath actually sent me one there before he. So You're good. Ma- there, there is Heath, and I want to give you a shout out. There's so many in here that I, I apologize. Um, but this one's Dick. Joe Harris. Well, no, for real. I, like, there, there is. I'm, I, we know. I, we get it. We get it. Jesus Christ. We get it. We, we get it. Ross Patterson Revolution on, on uh, Facebook. We get um, it. Yeah. Anyways, Joe Harris, you are loved. This is actually yours. Um, and this is how it's close to home because it, it, is, it is next to my original house where I grew up as a tiny little boy. Uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, a man allegedly exposed himself. And then fell to his death at a hotel. And that's business as usual out there. Huh? B of A. Yeah. B of you? B of you. Sure. B of you. I think I've messed that up before, that a brief. Um, because you do <clears throat> bank there, so. I do. B of A. <laughs> I do. I do bank there. Um, <laughs> it's the only place I trust my money. I don't, I don't give a shit about Bank of America. Uh, a man who allegedly exposed himself at a hotel fell to his death as he tried to leave the scene. According to Atlanta police, man, they have caught me naked a few times as well. So what now what happened? He's exposing himself to who? This Where? Is, this is the beauty of it because I believe we have talked about this. Um, the man exposed himself to a housekeeper at the Hyatt Regency Atlanta, which I have done In before. the room. Yeah. I've uh, been known to, to pull a cheek out, you know? Yeah, you do the butthole though. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. I do a f- full butthole out. You and I'm like, oh butthole. my gosh, sorry, you startled me. No, I'm not ready for my room to be clean. Right, right, right. And then they usually freak out and leave. They really just do a one knock and burst right in. Don't yeah, they? it's just a uh, one knock and then that key jams in and they're in. And yeah, you're like, whoa, <laughs> Jesus Christ! So it's amazing that you actually had time to hop up on all fours to get and my butthole out. out. The yeah, butthole. yeah. yeah. Uh, so APD said uh, the housekeeper told security who then went to confront the man about the incident. Police said the man ran from security and attempted to leap from one balcony to <gasps> another to escape security. Oh. Ugh, he missed his jump on the 11th floor and fell to Why his are death. You trying to get away from hotel security? Here's the fucked up thing. This is from CBS 46 in Atlanta. and know the station. Uh, they said, <laughs> fuck you. You guys for writing this. Is it police don't anticipate charges? Who are you going to charge? Yeah, what are you? The dead man? 
Did he die? Is that what he's we're... Dead. Okay, it said what he you... fell to his death. Yeah. All right. Uh, CBS 46 News is working to learn the man's name. I, th- I think, again, at CBS 46, I know you guys are eagle eyes, you know, trying, mm-hmm. to, trying to pop in the best story. I don't think it's necessary to go and find this guy's name. He's nude and dead. Uh, let's let that <laughs> go. Let's let that... Just let's let him RIP here. Um, Peter McMahon, the general manager of the Hyatt Regency Atlanta, issuing the following statement about the incident. The safety and security of our guests and colleagues is a top priority at Hyatt Regency Atlanta. We are saddened by the event that occurred at our hotel and our thoughts go out to have all been affected by this terrible situation. Mm. Mm. I I mean, I guess all of them. What are you you meaning? The housekeeper and just the, the nude, the new dead guy? Well, people needed. People must have seen that go past their window too, right? I mean, yeah. You're affected. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're I, affected. People walking outside after their continental. Yeah. Breakfast. I mean, they're affected. When you're in a hotel room, glass windows and such, lots of people milling around. Yeah. There's more people that are going to be affected. Yeah, and and here's a fun fact. I I often call my dick and balls the continental breakfast. Do you? Yeah, I used to put a little silver tray on it, and then uh, I put thought it on that a was plate. beef Wellington. Well, both. And okay. I believe I put it in one of those books. I believe it's in a night she cries while he rides his steed. Okay, I cool. I gave him the full continental breakfast. Mm-hmm. I believe so, but I'll have sure. to, to double check that. Yeah. Um, we are assisting authorities in investigating this manner. Again, I. You're probably good at this point. Yeah, let's. It sounds pretty cut and dry. Yeah. Uh, all cut and dry. All questions. Not a lot of ins and outs. Nope. Should be directed to the Atlanta Police Department. Um, <clears throat> man, this hits home for uh, two different reasons. Mm. One, this is in my city. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the people of Atlanta. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a little nudity, um, especially you know when a maid walks in. Now, if you walk outside your room and expose yourself to the maid. Oh, like in the hallway. Yeah. And you've got. Now that's funnier. It, it's it's funnier. It's a little more riskier, room, yeah. But they're not as vulnerable. Do you know what I mean? Sure. They can run away p- yeah, fairly yeah, easily, yeah. turn away, blah, blah, blah. When they're in the room, there's a level of, I'd be scared. Do you know what sure. I mean? Whereas if you walk out of your door, word to the wise, if anybody wants to do this. Yeah. yeah just yeah, do yeah. it in the hallway. Um, so that that hits home, obviously. You know, mm. I've done this. this. I've pulled this maneuver a lot. Sure. I've and never, again, it's usually with the butthole. Yeah. Uh, I never thought about uh, jumping out of the room, you know. I'll take well, a... Well, hotel security is about the least intimidating security of all time, right? I mean, yeah. they're, they're almost customer... They're a level above concierge, right? Yes. So they're just coming to say, hey, bud, yes, you yes, know. Yes. And you are jumping off balconies because of it so here's the other here's part two of this why this hits home spring break uh high school there was a friend of mine who threw a this is off the 10th 10th story Mm -hmm. he picked up a wooden uh pelican that was on the balcony um right outside of club la vela down in panama city and heaved it over the balcony now we had some we had some friends down below to make sure it wouldn't hit anybody or whatever we just wanted to see this thing explode at a maximum level, you know, on impact. It did. And it was amazing. However, security did come and somebody had, they'd seen him and they'd gotten a description of him. He jumped over to the other, very intoxicated, jumped over to- Oh, and a, made it? And made it. Oh, thank God. Yeah. And got out of that sitch. Mm. Um, but when you go down to spring break, they always tell you, like every year. There's always one dude who dies falling off the balcony or sure. whatever, right? Sure. And would not recommend it. I would just take the charge. These charges aren't like a nudity charge here. Right. That's what I'm saying is like, what? <clears throat> That's a slap is on the dog. What's going on? Yeah. Especially if, you, if you're first going through hotel security in which you can like explain, dude, I, I didn't know she was coming in i was standing here you know what i mean like there's a lot of 
talking you can do. Slap on the dong on this one. Yeah, you know? they would hit your penis, I think, for sure. Don't probably, you think? but I, they would also let you dress before you go to jail. And what are you, what are you probably looking at? A three fifty fine, three hundred fifty bucks. You know, you pulled your dong out. They may just give you a ticket on site if Maybe. the cops come. Maybe. I mean, you know, you never know. You never know. I I, I will say this for him though. There, Maybe there he was already a level two. Could have been. Could have been a level two. Uh, also, uh, if if you have been arrested by the Atlanta PD, like it is a that is a no joke city sure. where it's just like, hey man, if you got to go downtown and deal with that shit, good luck. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good fucking luck. And the one time that I was nude and on the run in Atlanta was mm-hmm. because of that exact reason. It was Fulton County PD. Fulton County encompasses not only the suburbs, but the inner city. And so you're going to the same place and uh, you get shackled up nude there as a, as a white guy mm-hmm. going downtown. Mm-hmm. That, that would have been a brutal one. So I, I, ended up, I ended up walking about seven or eight miles that night. Naked. Yeah. Fully nude. Fully nude. Story for another show. Yeah. Um, and I a was lot with, more questions. I was with uh, 10 dudes. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah, we were all nude. You were living your dream. Yeah. Right? Just, you You're know. You were living your fantasies. I was, I was really doing it's it. It's all just coming true. And I will say this. At the time of night that I was doing it at, it was so late that it was just like after, because you, you do feel shy about it for a right. little bit, right? And then after a mile, Oh, for sure. It kind of kicks in. And you're just like, all right, sweet. This is, is naked and afraid. Hot or kind of cooler? Uh, no, it was summertime. So it was, uh, ju- it was June. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. It was August. It was August. Oh. So it was warm. It was warm. No, mm. but that actually made you feel like, hey, man, I think if it was colder. Right. But gosh, and the, you had a, the sweat and the, you were walking for lots of miles in the heat. Long too. time. Yes. Yeah. With, yeah, a lot of, yeah, with yeah. no protection from. Uh, nope. Yeah, from skin to skin, different different so, skin to other skin, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> different types of skins. A lot of, <laughs> lot of types of skins there. and uh, But I, I felt free at one point, and I was like, oh, all right. I understand why, why certain cultures do this. Right. Where you kind of forget about it after a while, and you're just like, yeah, all right. This is, this is what we're doing, and this is how we do it all the time. Uh, but, the, but this gentleman right here, that sucks. You know? Yeah. But it definitely, it definitely is a crime corner for sure. Sad tale. Yeah. For sure. Good Sad job. tale. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I like I like the crime corners, by the way. I'm yeah. a big I'm a big I'm a gigantic fan of these. There's so many weird fucking stories out there. Yeah. That weird, I personally weird people, love them for sure. Um. What what, what was this here? Former uh, Jamie's person, former U.S. Senator Kay Hagan. Died at age 66, right? Right now, huh? Is that live? No shit. Okay. I'd have to look that up, Democrat. actually. Democrat, so what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. See. We got, I, I got nothing on Kay Hagen here. Jamie? Is it a hoax? Could be. Could be a real Could, nice. A no, hoax? here we go. Is it a hoax death? Yeah. Oh, she's the former Democratic senator from North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, she's no longer in there, so that's not going to affect the oh, election. Oh, okay. Jamie. Jamie. You know? He did say former. Okay. I'll he did, give him he that. He did say former, yeah. 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 Uh, For, you even spelt former right? No. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. R.I.P. I'm about to run for office in North Carolina, so, you know, maybe they'll put me up there after I win. Like, you know, when I die. Oh, that, yeah, be yeah, a yeah, thing yeah, yeah, of yeah. Like, yeah. That it'll pop up on the feed. Yeah. It'll pop up on people's feed. Yeah. Like now I'm just, I, I feel like I'm just stacking accomplishments at this point. You know, like mm-hmm. New York Times bestseller, former member of the New Hanover County School Board. Right, right. Like now I'm gonna, just going to be stacking up like, oh my gosh, he lived this crazy life. Yeah. Um, somebody even compared me to a, to a young Clint Eastwood the other day. And I like that, you know. Did they? He was mayor of, of Garmel. Oh, that's right. I remember. <laughs> Which, by the way. <laughs> Is probably the most cush mayor job of all time. Nobody lives yeah. there except for super, super rich people. Yeah. Uh, that golf and kind of stay to themselves. Easiest, cakest fucking mayor job of all time. But you get you get to say that you're a mayor. Of course you do. You and know? you get to like go to all the stuff. Yeah. 
He golfs, loves golfing, so he would just, I think, constantly get that tea time that he wanted. And, yeah. you know, it's sort of like the McConaughey thing. You do it for the perks. Yeah, and then you don't do it anymore. Right. It's just one of those things where I think you can look back on your life and, and you've been like, oh, man, you really did all that, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because Clint Eastwood, I would imagine, probably didn't have to spend any money campaigning or anything. It's just like, hey, man, it's Clint Eastwood, right? Oh, in Carmel, for sure. We're good. Yeah, they do. They are very elitist. And yeah. Sorry to anyone that lives in Carmel, but I know you motherfuckers don't. So, yeah. um, and either do I and never will. I mean, the level, that's, Cal- that's northern, beautiful California above Monterey. Are you fucking kidding me? No fires there, right? No fires ever. They each one of them probably has a huge tank. I mean, it's the level of wealth. It, there is incredible, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't. Uh, he definitely was just like, "Hey, I think I'm going to be mayor," and they were like, "That's fine with us." Do you know what I mean? Whew. Clint's doing it right, man. Yeah, I just find a place like that. Yeah. To be like, hey. I do this and this. I'm have this many followers. Blah, blah, blah. They'd be like, "Sweet, yeah, cool." Carmel, just leave us alone, basically. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. We're getting shirts made, by the way. Uh, D'Anthony's gonna run with me. Um, the shirts are, are being made. And we'll He's wear gonna them on run the show. with you, huh? Yeah, there's three seats open on the board, so we're gonna try to suck up two of them. Mm. Uh, if Jared was here, Oof. it would have been a full three for three trifecta. I think he's close. That brothel over there is getting a little full. Is it? It looks a little full. <laughs> you know what I mean? And full of family and stuff, which he doesn't really like. No, no, not at all. I think there's too much family around for him, yeah. so he'll probably be heading out here. He is. He's coming out in here in uh, two weeks. Yeah, which you guys uh, <laughs> sprung on me at uh, during the news. Well, here's the thing. He stays at the, he stays at the, the beach, so it's Yeah, like, he yeah. jokingly said he was staying at our house. No. In a, no. He's in sta- a sleeping so he's, bag he's next far to our away. bed. He's but far, yeah. yeah, he's far away. We were just like, all right, cool. He's far away, but I mean, it's far Jared, so like how far far is far enough you know what i mean so yeah i mean i'll deal with it (laughs) i'll deal with it when he's here (laughs) (laughs) and he's always got some bullshit thing he wants to fucking do to you i had to uh talk him out of just having a donkey in our backyard when you woke up was he really gonna get a donkey yeah and it was him and Matt were on the phone. They had called me first, and they were like, this is what we're doing. What do you think? How much is the donkey? Um, I don't think if it was like a rental for a couple of days, I don't think that would be. Were they going to buy it? I don't know if they were going to buy it. Okay. Um, it was sort of like a party donkey rental situation that yeah, they yeah, were yeah. talking about. Yeah. And they were asking me, like, which way should you do whatever? And um, I forget like that, how that would have been Jack's, kind of amazing. It would have been kind of amazing. We have children. They'd but be disappointed also, when the donkey left. <laughs> right. But also I think we were very busy trying to start a company at that time. And I think, you know, fun little things like that <laughs> are for <laughs> like different times. You know what I mean? Different, more carefree times. Right. So that you can really enjoy the prank for what it is. Yeah. And not get mad. Right. Cause I yeah. was just like, fuck. I was like, I don't know you guys. Like, I don't know how that's really going to be received by anyone right now. If that would have been done during that time period, I probably just would have walked in and been like, eh, all right, donkey's this is here. It. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, the donkey's, donkey's here. here. Well, donkey's here. Nothing we can do. So. Uh, fun show, Jabes. Fun show. Uh, fucking A, dude. Fucking A. What? Nudity causes you to jump to your death. Just can't Calm get over it. Calm down, you guys. I mean, if you feel the need to do that, celebrate your nudity. Just you know, take the fucking slap on the wrist. If you're, it's risk versus reward it with is. everything. So it weigh those is. things first. I know. Weigh those things and go from there. Yeah. Um, don't do anything where you need to jump to your death after. Right. <laughs> Not nudity. Not, Not nudity. Nudity. Dude. Not nudity. Uh, For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.